Alright, so now we're going to actually move on to creating this register.php page. So first of all here um, in Dreamweaver, I have just uh, going to create a simple form inside um, a paragraph tag. So the form action is going to equal to um, a file that is going to be located in the core directory. So um, you don't have to do this, but basically it's a file that handles register the register page, uh, the register code. Sorry. And um, so in this, it's going to be reg core forward slash reg dash check dot php. Um, and the method is going to be post, obviously. Um, so forward slash form. So first of all, I'm just going to create all the input type. So input type is text. The name of this is going to be username. Um, we're going to have a size in this as well, which um, I have, I've already predefined. So I know it's going to be 25. Um, you can put max values in there as well and such forth if you really want to. Um, and just going to put a placeholder. Um, enter a using name okay so now what I'm going to do is just copy this one um, change this to well change these two to password um, we'll keep it as 25 and we'll just change that to password and then another one here password uh, one and we enter your password okay now also we need some IDs on these for um, the JavaScript so if I just do an ID here and basically you can just call it the same so username that's wrong uh, name um, and the same for the so ID password and ID password one okay um, and we're going to create an input type which is submit and the value of that is just going to be register so now if I come and refresh this page we have something like this so what we're going to do now is just add a little bit of style into it and put some span tags in to actually create a uh, feedback um, stuff like um, is the username available and such forth like that if you want to know how to create the username available then um, like other such sort of JavaScript side then these videos on YouTube um, so just go search for them and you will find something um, so now if we just go back to Dreamweaver, what I'm going to do is um, underneath this first one we need a um, span ID because we're going to be working with JavaScript with these so this is going to be the user st status um, we don't need anything in the span because that's where JavaScript we're going to um, actually input something into that span using JavaScript so that's all we need so basically we can copy this down uh, for underneath the password and we're just going to put that as pass status and the last one um, pass one status okay Uh, I think that should be alright. So if we just uh, refresh this page, okay. So we'll get something like that. And here next to it, by the right hand side of the boxes, that is where the uh, the span tags are, um, and such actions will appear here. You can actually see the uh, text um, of where it actually is. But the feedback that JavaScript will post back to the page will appear there. 
Um, so that's that. Um, what we're going to do now is underneath the farm, we're just going to actually link in some pages. So the first one, script type is equal to um, text forward slash JavaScript, um, and the source is um, core forward slash JS forward slash jQuery and we need to end the script off there so what I'm going to do is just copy all this and paste it down there for the um, actually we need dot JS on the end of that um, for the check user so check dash user dot JS um, the check you should know what jQuery is so you, you should know how to put that into the page um, and check user is for the check username available where which you can actually look on um, a JavaScript tutorial on how to actually create that page um, and what I'm going to do just quickly here is put in some PHP code that will give the feedback to the user of what their um, what the feedback is on PHP so we can just do an if like this, then is set um, dollar underscore get can be get variable, um, and that is going to be feedback. Um, so if that exists, then we're going to just say echo dollar underscore get uh, whatever has been put into the feedback variable. Alright, so that that should be uh, register.php all done. And um, so if I just refresh this page, as you can see, nothing's really happened up to now. Um, but we've basically just got a simple form that will pass a username and two password fields over to PHP, which is located in um, the core folder. So next, what we're actually going to look at is this reg-check.php, which will this basically just registers um, the... Um, any usernames. So here is reg.check.php and in here it's just empty. First of all we need to require the database control.php file so we can connect to the database. Um, and then we're going to say if so in an in an if statement we're going to say if is not empty so basically, if there's something, if there's, if there is a value in dollar underscore post username, so if, so just let me finish this off here because we actually need three because of, so and um, is not empty dollar underscore post um, username and. Um, where are we? And is not empty. Dollar underscore post password one. So that's basically saying if if all them three values, if all them three boxes have a value, meaning that if if none of them. If none of them are empty, basically, if none of them contain a null value. Um, so if um, there is not a value in this, so if one of them has not been entered, if nothing's been entered into one of the text boxes, we're just going to redirect the user back to location. Um, we have to go dot dot forward slash to go back down a directory because we're in the core folder um, back to register.php and we're going to put in the feedback variable all fields are required so now if I just test this out if I don't enter anything in here and click register we get all fields required printed out right there Okay, so now what I want to do is actually continue on with the code to actually. Um, so if if all the fields um, have been entered, then we can say 
username equals and we're going to put this in a my mysql real escape string just for a bit of mysql uh, mysql injection prevent to prevent some mysql injection um, so dot underscore post username and because this is a long line theoretically um, we're just going to copy this down twice change this to password um, password password one password one um okay so we've got the variable no to create a simple query here not like that mysql underscore query um and this is basically just going to select all from um, the users table where username is equal to the username that the user has entered uh, and now basically we can create a num row which is mysql underscore um, num rows uh, which we're just going to basically put that query in so now we can say if if num row equals zero so basically if nothing exists in the database so if the if the username the user typed in doesn't exist or should I say if if it doesn't exist then we're going to carry on with code here to register else if the user does exist if the, that username does exist in the database then we're going to give a header back here to location feedback equals just to say um, username already exists <laughs> exists okay now if we just check this now as um, you saw in the last video um, I think it was Ash that existed, as you can see by this um, this uh, check user status here, um, that it's come up with a cross. But say if the user just ignored that and went straight to this, just like that, as you can see, username already exists, just as an extra check. Um, so now we're going to move on. So to actually do another check to see if the password um, is actually in the adequate length so you don't have to do this but this is just a quick check to see if the length of the password of password um, is less than or equal to 25 let's say just an example um, so else this is just if you want a max length on your password um, and then, then you can just say put something like um, sorry it's not the password I'm getting confused with myself it's the username username must not be more than just something like that um, so that's basically the username I'm not going to check that one um, and then we can basically just do the last check which is checking if the passwords are the same so if password is equal to password1 else we're going to redirect back just as always location equals something um, your passwords must match okay um, so then if all is good 
and um, we're now going to change the variable of password to to encrypt it so we're going to encrypt the password variable you can now forget about the password one variable that's sort of irrelevant now um, so then we can now start to insert this insert this user into the database because all checks have passed so insert into users um, the values user name and well into the username and password fields and the values we want in there are the username and the encrypted password which is now password just on its own and then we can just um, redirect back to register.php location feedback equals um, something like registration complete you may now log in and you can also provide a link in there if you if you want to to a login page um, so now that's that done so if I just try this out and um, type in something like um, another I don't know password so all is good click register registration complete and if we go back in and refresh the database as you can see there um, another has been inserted into the database the password looks the same because I actually used the uh, the same password which was passed so if I just type in something else like tutorial um, if I just use another password so say that click register registration complete um, and there you go the password is different there so register is all working now so what we are going to actually do now is move on to um, the login part um, in the next video so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video